Welcome to Saturday Extra. It's time for physical sciences now, and my name is Tiniko Kosa. And what are we going to talk about today? And as usual, you know we're going to have plus minus one hour, 15 minutes of a science lesson. Today's topic, we're going to talk about power. Now, power, it's something that is tied so much to mechanics and now I'm talking about power not necessarily looking at electricity but power around the power output of uh, machinery objects or how much power is dissipated when some work is done so so that is basically what we'll be talking about and therefore there would be a lot of consolidation of uh, work that we did in under mechanics so things like uh, Momentum would uh, may come back a little bit of it. We would talk a lot about, uh, obviously, when we talk power, work will be there. We will talk uh, about things like going back to, to momentum. We'll be talking about impulse and other things. So there would be some consolidation of the work that we've done already, especially under mechanics. Right. Now, let's have a look. The focus, like I said, we're talking power. So we'll be defining what power is. We will be looking at power and velocity, OK? And we will be looking at work where we have friction. We will also be looking at work done on inclined surfaces, OK? And then lastly, we would then do a lot of consolidation with regard to some uh, mechanics section impulse momentum and how this is related to power right now let's start what is power now power is defined as the rate at which work is done or the rate at which energy is transferred because you would remember from our past lesson that work is actually energy transferred work is energy transferred in the sense that we're looking at moving objects, we're looking at the force that is used to move object from one position to another. And that force times the displacement or the distance covered by those objects will give us the work done. So work is, or power is the rate at which work is done, or the rate at which energy is transferred. Now I want to bring your attention to this small word here, that we use in science, and it's very important, the word rate, OK? In physical sciences, once we talk rate, and I think I explained this at some point as well, once we talk rate, you should know that we're talking about something changing. So there is something here changing, and that change is looked at per time. We're looking at how much change is happening per unit time. So the word rate would suggest to us that whatever it is that we're talking about would have to be divided by time. Okay. So when we say power is the rate at which work is done, it means this power, which will be denoted by capital letter P, would be equal to the rate at which work is done. It will be work divided by change in time. So this would be the mathematical definition of what power is. And what are the units of measurement for power? From the formula there, or from this mathematical definition, we can see that power is, work is measured in joules, so we'll put J for it. Time is measured in seconds, that is the SI unit of time. So at the end, we find ourselves with a unit of joules per second. So joules per second will be the unit of power. But then, 
this unit of power joules per second is known as what? Okay, so it, mean, it means that one joule per second equals one watt. Okay, so that is the unit that we use for power, W watt. So the, 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 the symbol for it is W. We measure power in watt. All right. Let's come to some example here quickly, right? Um, a woman pushes a trolley along a smooth horizontal surface through a straight passage in a grocery store. Now, a woman pushing a trolley, I think, well, it's, not, it's nothing uh, that has to do with uh, discrimination against gender. But, well, we know women, you know, are champions when it comes to buying. So that was just for relevance. A woman pushing that trolley in a grocery store, she pushes it over a distance of six meters. And we are also told down here that the total mass of the trolley and its content is two kilograms. If the trolley experiences an acceleration of two meters per square second, calculate. So we have got a question here. But allow me to write on the side here all the things that is given to us. We are given the mass of the trolley and its content. We are told it is two kilograms. We are given the displacement moved by the trolley, six meters. We are also given the acceleration in which the trolley was uh, changing its speed, and it is two meters per square second, right? So that's what we have. The first question is calculate the work done on the trolley. Well, we know here since we have mass, we have acceleration, so there is uh, a resultant force. So work will be given by ma delta x in this case. What is m? M is two kilograms. What is A? A is also two meters per square second. And what is delta X? The passage was six meters long. So that will be six. Two times two times six gives us, two times two is four, four times six gives us 24. So that is 24 joules of energy. Okay? So that is the work done by the woman on the trolley. Now moving on, the next part of the question says, calculate the rate at which energy is expanded by the woman if it took her five seconds. Okay, so added to our information here now is time. The time taken for the woman to do all this work. It's five seconds. So here we calculate the rate at which energy is expended by the woman if it took her five seconds to push the trolley over the six meter distance. Rate at which energy is expended is what? It's power. So we'll say power is equal to the work done, the energy transferred divided by change in time or delta T. What is this one? We have calculated for it earlier on. We found it to be 24, that is work. We divide 24 by the time it took the woman to do all this work, and that is five seconds, so divided by five. And what is the answer here? 24 divided by five. Five goes to 24 four times, remainder four. Five go to 40, it goes eight times to 40, so that will be 4,8. What is this? We're calculating for power, so the units will be watts. So that will be 4.